Hello, this is T Chapman 500 with another update video for the CH016MO1 CPU. So, there are a few changes that have been made. First, Logisim Evolution Holy Cross Edition has just been recently updated and it has a few new features which the CPU now uses. So, you basically need Logisim Evolution Holy Cross Edition 5.0 or later in order to use the CPU. Next, if you look over here to the sidebar, you'll notice two versions, one of which has a dash s suffix. We'll get into that a little bit later, but right now we're using the one that does not have the suffix. Down here, we have a circuit designed to count the number of clock cycles it takes for the program to return to the beginning. Here is the program ROM. Right now, it has Fibonacci loaded, and if we were to run this thing, we'll find that it takes about 1,124 clock cycles to compute the Fibonacci sequence. But that 1,124 clock cycles is without any stepper reset logic. So we can remove this CPU and add in the version with the stepper reset logic and also reset the simulation. And we can see that it now takes 586 clock cycles to compute the Fibonacci sequence, which is a little bit over half the original time. Now, the next goal for this project is probably going to be to add some additional instructions. So we're going to have another suffix appended to the already existing suffix to designate that the CPU has an extended instruction set. That'll be for a future video. I do not intend on making any pipeline versions of the CPU. Though, if you want to do it, feel free to do so. Fork the repository, make the changes to implement the pipeline, and then create a pull request. Once I implement the extended instruction set, I will probably consider this particular CPU model finished. I might do another 16-bit CPU, but I'm actually wanting to do a 64-bit CPU. And yes, I do intend to skip 32 bits. Anyways, hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, and share, and I will see you in the next video. This is T. Chapman 500 signing off.